Good afternoon, people watching in 65, Lisa Boyce. I had to go to the store, so I'm gonna give you a verse of scripture. It's out of first, it's out of James 1:17, and it says that every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ the moment you accept christ as savior not only are you saved but you are justified by the blood of jesus you are rapture ready which is going to happen at any time and you're sealed until the day of redemption which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation the holy spirit will indwell in you lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, change you. That's what he does. The article, the uh, video that I did yesterday about the, um, about Israel and them knowing about this thing that was going to happen. Um, the only reason they're putting this stuff out there about Israel is to discredit Israel. And to make people, especially Christians, turn against Israel. This is the only reason they're putting that out there. It don't matter if they knew about it or not. How could they possibly act on something that they assume was a rumor? So, you know, it's, it goes on to show whether it's fake or whether it's not fake. It's whether they knew it or not. They're putting all this stuff out there to turn the people away from Israel. This is to turn your back on Israel. It's, it's, a, it's a ploy is what this is. And it's going to get stronger. It's going to get stronger. This is how, this is the beginning of Psalm 83 going into Ezekiel 38, 39. This is what this is. This is exactly what it is. This war is going to intensify, is what it's going to do. Now, I got a couple of articles. One from um, Jerusalem Post. This just came out this morning. It says, Israel allegedly strikes Syria's Damascus International Airport. So, the Syrian army said in a statement, its air defense intercepted Israeli missiles flying from the Golan Heights. Again, this just came out this morning. It is saying that Israel airstrikes put Damascus Airport out of service this morning, forcing incoming flights to be diverted elsewhere. The Syrian army and the pro-government newspaper said. So, and by the way, Israel will be the one that starts Isaiah 17:1 with Syria. Damascus. It says Israel for years have carried out strikes against what is described as Iranian linked targets in Syria, including against Aleppo and Damascus, Damascus, Damascus airports. The Syrian army said in a statement, its air defenses intercepted Israeli missiles flying from the Golan Heights. It said the Israeli strikes, which also targeted outposts in the Damascus countryside led only to material losses but did not elaborate on the extent of damage to the country's biggest civilian airport. There was no immediate comment from the Israeli military and you could see a plume of smoke rising from that area. So it says, flights scheduled to arrive in Syria's capital, Damascus, are being diverted to airports in Latakia and Aleppo, Syrian pro-government newspaper Al-Watan said today. 
The Israeli airstrikes targeted the airport on Sunday less than 30 hours after it returned to operation, according to one of the news sources there. So, yeah, this... <laughs> Israel will probably be the one to destroy Damascus in a day, according to Isaiah 17.1, because Isaiah 17.1 really doesn't say who's going to be doing this, but it just says that Damascus will be a ruinous heap in one hour. That's exactly what it says. So this came out on RT as well. Now, <laughs> like I've been saying, and like Chris and every other person has been saying, Russia, Russia, <laughs> Russia is part of this whole thing as well. So, so guess what they do? They launched a new military satellite. Yeah. So the space vehicle has been successfully placed into its target orbit. The country's defense ministry announced this morning. So it says the Sunes or the Sunyes 2.1 B rocket carrying a military spacecraft was blasted off from the uh, please Plesnik Cosmodrome in the north of Russia last night. The nation's defense ministry said, according to a statement, the launch of the carrier rocket proceeded as planned. It was a success. At the estimated time, the military spacecraft was successfully placed in its target orbit, handed over to the control of the ground facilities of the aerospace forces, space troops. Again, we don't know what this thing is. They know what it is. A stable telemetry link has been established and maintained with the spacecraft, the ministry said, adding on that onboard systems are operating normally. Once the spacecraft was in orbit, military, that's the key word right there, military, Space Force intelligence officers began analyzing and processing information about the new space object, the statement says. The video of the rocket takeoff was released by the ministry. The launch of the Sunyaz 2.1B carrier rocket was watched by 45 students from the Moscow and St. Petersburg boarding schools of the Defense Ministry and the Kazal President, uh, Presidential Cadet School, who were invited to the Cosmodrome as a tour. The previous launch was reported on October 27th. The rocket carried several spacecraft for the Russian Defense Ministry. You can call this anything you want. This is a weapon. This is a weapon. You can say whatever you want to say because it really don't matter. This is for the Great Tribulation. Period. You can look at this. You can read it. You can come to your own conclusions. But the, the, the common denominator with this whole thing is this is a weapon. This is definitely a weapon. When is going to be used? Has to be after the rapture. But Russia has a lot of technology. 
says, according to the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, a total of 67 launches of Sunya's 2.1B rockets were carried out from December of 2006 to today, delivering 577 spacecrafts into orbit. So they got 577 of these things already in orbit. Tell me that's not a weapon, please. Because I don't believe you. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you know what? And I, you know what really irritates me is people that don't believe. You can say what you want. The church is getting ready to leave. Talk about a launch. The church is getting ready to take off. This stuff is right in your face. The Bible is specific, especially, and I got to point out where it is. It says knowledge will increase. There you go right there. There you go right there. This is a weapon and it's going to be used. But it's not going to be used as long as the church is here. I don't see how people, you know what, what really irritates me is, I, oh, oh, it, it just mm, it eats me alive. I don't see how people can say, well, this is going to happen. How can all this stuff possibly happen while you got millions of Christians on this earth that are holding everything together? That's the Holy Spirit, folks. A lot of this stuff can't happen until the church is gone. Satan can't be unleashed fully on this earth until the church is gone. Oh, we're seeing glimpse of it. Or oh, we're seeing no oh, we're seeing evil. Yes. Are we tired? Yeah, we're tired. We're very tired. And the rapture, the rapture has to happen soon. Because with this stuff, it's like the Holy Spirit is busting at the seams to let loose all of this stuff. And it's going to happen in the blink of an eye. We're going to be gone. We are going to be gone. You could be shot. Knowing me, I'll probably be at the grocery store when it happens. Again, just because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes of all this news. And I don't think you want to know. I know I don't, really. I got enough to deal with <laughs> on an hourly, daily basis. Every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I go through, I, I do a video. This is a weapon. And I'm telling you, the church is getting ready to be launched. What Israel did by the releasing. You see how there was a pause yesterday in this hostage deal. So they wanted, so Hamas wants more people released from prison. That's Samson. Released from prison. You see how they're getting their way? They're inching away at Israel. They're trying to weaken Israel. They're already saying they won. He agrees. I'm telling you, we're getting ready to go. We are getting ready to go. I can feel it. I can sense it. Something, something's about to happen. And it can't happen until the church is gone. It can't fully come to pass until the church is out of here. There's no way it can come to ha it can happen until the church is gone. 
So I'm going to link this article and the one from Jerusalem posts in the description box. And um, I will be back in between making my pound cake and I will be back later. Thank you.